Hello, my sweet friends. Welcome to the Archaic Experience channel. Christina here. Uh, today is my first attempt to a different kind of video because uh, I've been getting a lot of messages about uh, cake collaborations. Uh, so I wanted to talk to you a little bit about cake collaborations and explain how can you participate and what they really are. So cake collaborations are actually a big deal in the international cake uh, community world, the uh, artistic cake community world, because it's a chance for us to get together as a group of cake artists and develop a theme or a piece around a theme that probably a customer usually won't ask for. So it is a way of getting our um, imagination run free and uh, uh, experience new techniques or maybe try different things that we are not able to try with clients or even for cake competition, big deal. And there are a lot of them going around and from all the themes that you can imagine, uh, from nature to human rights, to Harry Potter, to theater, to movies, to Star Wars, whatever you like, there is a cake collaboration for. And uh, in the past, in the past uh, year and a half, two years, I've been able to participate in a lot of them, mainly because they're done online. They're, uh, most of them are done on Facebook, on private groups and then pages. And uh, since they're done online, have been great during this uh, quarantine and COVID time for us to keep us entertained and to keep us uh, going as cake artists and just staying focused and creative. Times. So today what I want to show you is a little bit of uh, some of the cake collaborations. This is just, just a few. I have a lot around the house. Too many, um, if you ask me and my family. <laughs> Probably uh, there is a piece of a cake collaboration in every room in my house right now. But um, these are a few. I'm not going to say my favorites, but those are very special. And uh, I just wanted to show you how I got into the collaborations and what kind of things you can do. Uh, my thing. The thing that I like to do is sugar paste modeling. So most of the cake collaborations I participate in, I try to make a sugar piece uh modeling pieces <laughs> if i go back like this one for example this was for a uh, tribal culture uh i don't know if you know but i lived in alaska when i was younger so i decided to go for an inuit girl uh this one was actually uh it was not the first but it was uh, I think the second cake collaboration I participated in, uh, a very special friend, um, Carla from Portugal, invited me to my first cake collaboration because she has um, she has been running a steampunk cake collaboration for a while. The first, this is not the first piece I made for the for her. This is the second piece, but this is very special. I really like it. It's it was made during the quarantine. I had a lot of time in my hands, so I had the chance to make four different characters. Uh, there is a video on my YouTube channel here if you want to know more about these ones. Uh, this one over here is a little bit different because I decided to go for bust cake on a, on a bas relief kind of way for a Katrina cake collaboration last year. There's another one running this year. Uh, this was around Halloween time. So it was around this time of year. And um, you can really run free. You can really do a lot of the things that usually a customer won't ask for. Uh, and it's, it's, it's for creative people, it's amazing. Now, how do you participate on cake collaborations? I'm gonna give you uh, a little hint, a little help on how to do it in a very easy way. If you are in the cake world, first of all, I recommend to be part of a cake community. There are a lot of online uh, cake groups going on, uh, sometimes made from uh, followers of a certain artist or for countries or for, um, I don't know, cookie artist or uh, sugar paste modeling artist. There is a lot of uh, cake community groups. I recommend you to be part of some cake community group first because that way you will get to know the people, you will get to know what's going on, what is around. Uh, I will recommend, of course, our cake community that is called Cake Friends Stay Creative. It was a group created during the quarantine 
uh, it started with 32 members and now we are over 6,000. So I invite you to do that. I will leave the links below so you can join. And going back to the beginning to how to participate. First recommendation, as I said before, join any cake community group because that way you will get into what's going on, what's out there, what are the, the cake collaborations that are coming up. Uh, some of them are even for beginners. Our group had a uh, cake collaboration called My First Cake Collaboration for people who has never participated because sometimes you're intimidated and you're afraid. So don't be because we have for beginners as well. I'm gonna show you here on my computer two groups that I recommend. First of all, because they're my friends and second, because they're, they are mainly um, created to make cake collaborations for people for cake artist. So one of them is Sugar Matt from my dear friend Gerardo in Mexico. Sugar Matt group was also a group created during the quarantine and they are usually uh, creating open cake collaborations. That means that anyone can join, anyone who's part of this. This is a great cake community if you want to be part of it as well. And any member, anyone who wants to participate, it's able to join. Some cake collaborations are more exclusive and are by invitation only, but there are a lot, like I said, for beginners or for people who just merely want to join. I recommend this one and I will also leave the link below so you will find it online. The second one I am part of and they really helped me a lot making and curating my own cake collaboration is the cake collective the cake collective is absolutely awesome and their administrators have done an amazing job because not only they invite everybody to participate they give um cake collaborators um curators and organizers a platform to showcase their ideas like i want to do a harry potter cake collaboration there you go. We'll sh we'll show it to our community. We'll we'll help you find um, members for your cake collaboration. And also, they have a very very um, precise <laughs> guideline of everything you need to know to create a cake collaboration from the beginning until the reveal day. Uh, how to create your page online and even how to promote it on cake magazines really recommend it. They are very good and they're open for anyone to participate. Like I said, there are some that are only by invitation, but as long as you're part of the K community and uh, you get out there, people will start to invite you. Just, just get out there, just show your work, participate. And people will start to see, oh, this person is in every K collaboration. This is going on, it's really doing a lot. So they will invite you. But if you're starting and you really want to try your luck on K Collaboration, I recommend you um, the K Collective, Sugar Mad, our group, of course, Cake Friends Stay Creative. Even though we're not a K Collaboration group, like only for that, but we do organize some during the year. And of course, I want to invite you to check out my cake collaboration, Harry Potter Magical Cake Collaboration. I will leave the link below too. Check out the work of the amazing artists. Check out what they did. See how the page is, is done, how the work is showcased. And maybe you will be interested in participating on my Harry Potter Cake Collaboration next time. I'm probably organizing another one for 2023, so you have plenty of time to think about that. And uh, I really hope that this video has helped you a little bit and maybe I will see you in a cake collab next. So time. for now, I just want to thank you for being here. Thank you for uh, watching this uh, video, my first attempt at having a talking video to you. I hope it is okay. I hope I didn't bore you with this video and I really hope to see you in an upcoming cake collaboration and this, this, that this video has helped you to maybe get more information and find out how to participate. So until next time, uh, stay safe, stay creative, and don't forget to subscribe and be here on my channel so we can keep talking and chatting about more things. See you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.